Hello, I'm Vicky, the Charity Manager, and I firstly want to say a big, huge, massive thank you for becoming one of our volunteers. You really have signed up to do something wonderful for your community. So, by now, you'd have already met or chatted to Iona, our volunteer coordinator, all about your role. You'd have had your DBS check, been given your volunteer handbook and your ID badge, so you're nearly there and ready to get started. But before you do, we want to give you some information that will help you in your role. So we've made this short video to guide you through health and safety, confidentiality, professional boundaries, safeguarding, first aid, dementia awareness and inclusion, diversity and equality. Now you'll meet Iona again at the end of this video and she'll be your main point of contact, but the whole team and all our members are really looking forward to getting to know you too. So here we go. Health and safety. Your health is very important to us. Please ensure that you have told us of any medical conditions that may make certain activities difficult so that we can give you suitable volunteering roles which you can enjoy. However, there are certain situations where we all need to take a bit of extra care. Manual handling of equipment and people. You may find yourself in a situation where you need to help someone in and out of a car or perhaps push them in a wheelchair. If you feel that you cannot push someone in a wheelchair, please let us know. Staff will show you how to use an RSM wheelchair correctly. Helping someone in and out of a car. Think about where you park. Avoid high pavements and uneven ground and try to park on the level. Have your car door wide open. If helping someone out of a wheelchair and into a car, have the chair near the car door with the brakes on and footplates folded back. Allow enough room for both of you in the door opening. You may need to slide the car seat back. Ask the person to stand slowly, turning with their back to the car and to hold a secure part of the car that is comfortable for them. Ask them to slowly lower into the seat. You can guide them by placing one hand on their shoulder and the other on their head. Help lift their feet in and ensure they are sitting in the middle of the seat before fastening their seat belt. When getting out, have the chair with the brakes on close to the car door. Help lift their feet out and ask them to turn and shuffle to the side of the seat. Allow them plenty of room and as they stand, guide them by their shoulders. Helping someone out of a chair. Ask the person to shuffle to the front of the chair and put their feet apart in a comfortable position. If the chair has armrests, ask the person to use them to help push themselves up. Alternatively, stand to the side of them and offer your arm with a clenched downward fist and allow them to use you to pull themselves up. When someone has fallen. If someone falls, however tempting it is to help them up, you must not. Please make them comfortable and call 999 for help. Ambulance crews are trained to lift people and have special equipment to help them. Alternatively, if you think that the person can get themselves up safely, you can put a sturdy chair in front of them to pull themselves up on. Handling food. Please make sure that you are well in yourself with no vomiting, diarrhea, infected wounds, sores or boils. Please wash your hands by lathering with hot water and soap for 20 seconds, then rinse and dry. Wear gloves or use tongs when working with ready-to-eat foods like cake. Keep hair tied back and wear clean clothing or a lovely RSM apron. Loan working. Please always tell someone where you are visiting and where possible take your mobile phone with you. Professional boundaries. This is where to draw a line between professional and personal. 
These are some of our guidelines for do's and don'ts. Please do. Do spend time with your RSM friend, listening and chatting. You may like to visit them at home or go out and about. Do keep regular contact with your friend and let us know if you can't make your visit. Do support your friend by helping them feel connected to the community, telling them about local clubs and services. Please do respect your friend's beliefs, opinions and lifestyle. Most important of all, have fun and enjoy the time you spend together. Your role is one of friendship, so please don't. Don't share your contact details as your RSM friend can become over-dependent on you. They can always call us in the office so that we can contact you. Your friend may want to give you a gift, which is fine if it's something small such as flowers or a plant. However, please do not accept anything of value. You will build up a trusted friendship, but please don't keep keys to your RSM friend's home. Don't do housework, gardening or minor household repairs. Forward the request to RSM and we can contact someone such as the Rotherfield Repairs team. Your role is one of friendship, so please don't. Don't provide healthcare such as dispensing medicine or giving medical advice. Do not provide personal care such as assisting with eating, drinking or washing. This is the role of a professional carer. Don't manage money or handle cash on behalf of your RSM friend without speaking to one of us in the office first and don't become involved in their legal affairs. RSM can recommend local solicitors. Don't offer counselling or therapy. RSM has professional counsellors and therapists that we can put your friend in contact with. Don't keep secrets. This is because you may need to pass on any concerns to the safeguard lead at RSM. Saying no and feeling okay. Saying no to your RSM friend that you have got to know well can be difficult, but don't worry, the RSM team are here to support you. You may wish to. Explain why you have to say no. It might be something you need to talk to the RSM office team about first. Empathise and say you understand as they may be upset at your refusal. Keep to your decision being firm and consistent. Confidentiality Our members trust and have a legal right that personal information about them will remain confidential and be treated with respect. From time to time it may be necessary for the RSM office team to share information about your friend with you. Please make sure that you keep this information confidential. Sometimes you may need to share information for the welfare of your friend with the RSM team. Please take care when discussing your friend with the RSM team that your conversation cannot be overheard. Please do not gossip about a member or discuss their private affairs either verbally or in electronic correspondence. Safeguarding As we get older, sadly we can become more vulnerable and can be more susceptible to abuse. Abuse is when someone does something to another person which damages their quality of life or puts them at risk of harm. Abuse can happen once or repeatedly. It may be deliberate or unintentional. Abuse can be physical, emotional, sexual or financial. Neglect is also a form of abuse. At RSM, we have a safeguarding lead who you can talk to if you have any concerns about a member. However, safeguarding is everybody's business and in your role as a volunteer you may be the person that spots something that doesn't feel right or you may be the person that a vulnerable older person chooses to confide in. Anyone can cause harm, a family member, a carer or a stranger. However, it is usually someone the person knows. Some people also self-neglect for example, not eating properly, not taking their medication or neglecting their personal hygiene or living conditions. Self-neglect can be a safeguarding issue too. 
If something doesn't feel right or it plays in your mind, the chances are that something isn't right. If you have any concerns, please call the RSM office and ask for the safeguard lead. Or you can call the East Sussex Adult Safeguarding Team using the details provided on the back of your ID badge. Alternatively, if you think that an older person is in immediate danger, please call the police on 999. First aid. If you would like to know about first aid, the best option is for you to attend training. However, if you are first on the scene at any incident, the most important thing you can do is call for help. Please be aware of the surroundings and circumstances and think of your own safety. Please call 999 yourself or ask someone else to and ask them to confirm to you that they have done so. Calling 999 can be an intimidating thing to do, but the person on the end of the phone is trained to help you and will be able to give you support in how to help. If they ask if there is a nearby defibrillator, our nearest are the doorway of Rotherfield Village Hall and the side of the Cuckoo Line stores. Both of these have codes which will be given to you by the 999 call handlers. If you do have to deal with any first aid situation, please let us know so that we can support you and the RSM member. Dementia Awareness Dementia is a word used to describe a group of symptoms including memory loss, confusion, mood changes and difficulty with day-to-day -day tasks. There are many causes of dementia with Alzheimer's disease being the most common. Every day, almost 600 people in the UK develop dementia. People over 65 are more likely to get dementia, but it can affect younger people too. At RSM, we have our own dementia coordinator, who is a trained dementia champion. The best way to find out more about dementia is to book a training session with them. At RSM, we have committed to the Wielden Action Alliance Dementia Charter to work towards making our community dementia friendly. Alzheimer's Research UK tells us that the most common themes of dementia are forgetting recent events, names and faces, asking the same question often in a short space of time, putting things in the wrong place, finding it hard to pay attention or make simple decisions. Not being sure about the date or time of day, getting lost, mostly in places that are new, finding it hard to use the right words or understand other people's words, changes in how someone feels, like becoming sad or easily upset or losing interest in things. As dementia gets worse, people may have trouble speaking clearly or telling you what they need or how they feel. They may find it hard to eat and drink, wash and dress themselves and go to the toilet without help. As volunteers, there are ways in which you can support people living with dementia but we appreciate that you may feel daunted at the thought of doing so. Here are some useful tips when spending time with someone living with dementia. Smile as much as possible to indicate that you are friendly and helpful. Use their memory of the past. Talk about the subjects they mention. Don't bring things into the present. People with dementia are not children. They have decades of experiences, skills, relationships and achievements and it is important to respect this. Try not to interrupt someone with dementia when they are talking or trying to talk because they are likely to lose their train of thought. You can, though, help out with an occasional word or phrase if you think this will help ease frustration and distress. Make sure you face the person when speaking to them. Think about your tone of voice. 
People with dementia can be highly sensitised to tone of voice. Don't shout, use a low pitched voice if you can. Don't remind the person that they have forgotten. Respond to the feelings rather than the words. Be patient and cheerful and reassuring. Go with the flow. Equality, diversity and inclusion. Equality is about ensuring people are treated fairly and equally, regardless of any differences, race, disability, age, gender or sexuality. There are legal and moral reasons for ensuring people are treated equally, for example, making sure that everyone has the same access to opportunities and making sure everyone is fairly treated. Diversity is about valuing people as individuals. Inclusion is putting this all into practice. It's about understanding and meeting the needs of different people and creating an environment of trust and respect. At RSM, everyone matters to us. You, our members, our members' families, our staff and the wider community. We are a community-led charity and we do not discriminate against anyone and we request that all volunteers share this ethos with us. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you found it useful and you're now confident to start your volunteering journey with RSM. If you would like any further training or information on any of the subjects, please do let us know or follow the link at the end of this video. RSM runs on tea and cake and volunteers, and we are really looking forward to welcoming you into the RSM family. We are so proud of what we do here at RSM and hope you are proud of becoming a part of it. Thank you.